Hey guys, it's me, Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Let's go to California here into the Sierra. This is Kirkwood, just south of Lake Tahoe. Obviously, it's dry, waiting on a storm system that arrives tonight. I'd say snow hits the Tahoe area after 10 p.m. tonight, continues through the, the day tomorrow. Snow levels start a little high at about 7,000, but then they gradually fall. And I think during the heart of the storm, we'll probably have snow levels around 5,000 feet, so lower than what it has been, and we desperately need that snowfall that's on the way. So what happens with that? storm system. Well, it becomes a southern track storm system, 1-3 to 1-5. It affects Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado, 1-3 to 1-5. That's not the pattern changing low, but it will certainly open the door for our larger storm system that comes in immediately after that. We're going to see a wave of fast precip, a fast snowfall, vanguard snow that comes down through Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, uh, Utah, and Colorado on 1-5. And then immediately after that, our, our pattern changing storm comes out of the Pacific Northwest on 161718 and brings colder air and a lot of snow to the west. The one thing I'm seeing this afternoon is that it's not going to be a one off. It looks like this is going to be a pattern we can rely on. Uh, more of a storm cycle, if you will, if you want to use that terminology. 16 to 111 would be the key, the key time frame. So you've got one storm that comes in 161718, another one, probably 1819, and then another one right on its coattails that comes in 110, 111 potentially. I'll show you the jet set up for this coming up and you'll be able to spot it right away. In the northeast, kind of where we were this morning with the low, the track of that low on 1617, just a little far to the south. Kind of pulls the heavy snow out of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, but I'll show you what I'm thinking with that uh, that setup and that storm track here in just a few minutes. Let me go over to a water vapor satellite here. So oranges and reds on this are your drier air loft, your moistures and your whites, your blues and your greens. So here is this large low pressure that is now moving in and that's what's going to um, force that snow development, push that moisture in to the Sierra tonight into tomorrow. And then that storm will drop down and become a southern track storm for Utah, Arizona, Colorado and New Mexico and then it will depart after that. Now on its heels, this is, I mean, it is a powerhouse storm system. You can see it's well defined. That is going to be our pattern changing storm system that pulls the basically forces that northern branch, that uh, northern jet to buckle, and it's going to come in like this and just bulldoze its way through the interior. That happens 1617 and 18. Here's the forecast radar and satellite, the latest here. That's the current state of affairs. Watch the snow overnight into tomorrow. Tahoe Mammoth up to Shasta. Again, that snow level will fall to about 5,000. Then it takes it to, takes that southern track, makes its move, pushes that snow shield into Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. This is the view on 1-4 in the afternoon. Watch what happens on 1-5. The low departs. Here comes that quick wave of snow down through the interior. Tetons, Wasatch, Idaho, Montana, eventually Colorado. Now right on its heels, watch the Pacific Northwest. Here comes our large spiraling area of low pressure. This is 1-6 in the afternoon. Here is 1-7 and it is settling in at that point. You've got widespread snow, colder air moving in. You've got jet stream support across the interior. And by the time we get into 1-7 in the afternoon, late in the day, we're still snowing, and there's going to be another wave behind that, and then another one behind that one. All right, let me uh, just show you the jet setup here, as you can really see this. So on 1-5, you've got that initial wave of snow, and then the main low is coming out of the Gulf of Alaska, Canada, and beginning to buckle that northern branch um, jet. And this is, you know, this is really one of the, I think this might be the first time we've really had involvement from the polar jet. Uh, it's mainly kind of been the southern branch up until now, but now we're going to pull in some colder air turn some winds and really get some better snow generation. So this is 1.7. This is really in the heart, um, the jet set up in the heart of that pattern changing low. You can see the deep trough over the interior Rockies, uh, Montana, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, helping to really support that area of low pressure. One more step down the road, look at 110. And when I said this is more of a pattern we can rely on, more of a storm cycle, you can see it here. Look at that jet stream, that west-northwest orientation, like a slide, all that cold air is coming down. The next area of low pressure will cycle through the Intermountain West. And then finally, I want to show you uh, what it could look like on the tent. This is the forecast radar. This would be your second to, and potentially even third storm system setting up and coming through. So uh, there's a lot of action here between 1.6 and 1.11. Two to three different storm systems could cycle through the west and the Intermountain West. 
All right, let me uh, just show you the numbers here. So this is uh, the rest of today through the 4th. Again, tonight, tomorrow, looking for about 10 to 15 inches of snow above five to 6,000 feet in the, uh, in the Sierra from Mammoth up to uh, Heavenly uh, and Tahoe in general, Kirkwood. Um, across the interior, that eventually becomes that southern track low, and then we, we do see some snow through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. Here's the exciting time frame. You might recall my uh, update from this morning, the numbers were big. In some cases now, they're even bigger, and, and you can see it now potentially adding an additional storm to the cycle, it pushes the numbers up. Uh, one to two, maybe one to three feet in a number of spots with this across the Tetons across the Wasatch, across parts of Idaho, central and northern Idaho, across northwest Montana, the numbers are big. Uh, the Pacific Northwest, one to three feet, maybe four feet. And look at some of the numbers through Timberline and Bachelor. Those have also accelerated up to 60 to 70 inches. Uh, this is this is a major pattern change, a matter, uh, just a, a pattern shift that, you know, has all the earmarks of, of, of just big snow and colder temps. And in Colorado, one to two feet potential. Those numbers have ticked up with the addition of a possible third storm system. All right, let me take you up to uh, the northeast. About where we were this morning, uh, if that low uh, on 1617 stays where it's at, then this is probably where we're going to end up. Uh, there's one larger storm system around 19110. We'll have to see the track of it. It's going to be a powerhouse storm, but it might be rain. Don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but this is where I'm, I'm going to... Uh, this is where I'm putting my numbers uh, this afternoon in this update. So we'll end on this slide. Um, and again, a lot to look forward to. This is a very exciting time frame after what's it felt like a, a beach vacation here across parts of the West with these warm temps and basically no snow for the Intermountain West. This will be a significant change. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.